Okay, so now that we know that the graphic is accurate and uh, everything that looks good, <clears throat> the next step is to actually make a paint mask for it. I mean, that's the ultimate objective of all of this. So I saved it um, in Photoshop. I just saved it as a JPEG. We will do a open. Uh, there it is. So there's my picture. It's a little large, I think, for, let me zoom out and zoom down a little bit. It's a little bit large for the cam. It's a little too big for it. Now I'm using a Silhouette Cameo. <clears throat> this is the Silhouette Cameo Studio. So it's a little large for that. Let's um, see, is there a rotate button? I don't know a lot about this. Here it is, rotate. Okay, so that's the thing I want to rotate. Uh, object, uh, rotate 90 degrees. All right, and then we'll put it here, about like that, and we'll change the width of the paper. Actually, let's do it about over here, about like that. We'll change the width of the paper to be about six inches. Looks about right, and the length about 12. Is that long enough? No. Nope. Length about uh, 14. Oop. 14 inches. Oh, it rotated it. Did it rotate? The arrow usually means, oh there we go, orientation. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love this stuff. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, here's the here's the issue. Is that right now? This is just an image. This doesn't do anything in it. So what we're doing? I'm gonna zoom in. We're going to select this and we're going to go to object panel and trace. We're going to select the trace area which is there. Whoops. Shoot. Select the trace area Come on. Get out of there. Exit. There we go. Okay. Let's try this again. Select the trace area, which is all of this. All right. And bam, it just did it. Since because it's a black and white image, this is really uh, basic. So now we just tell it that I just want to trace it. And bam, we have a, we're done. You can see it, the red, it's a little hard to see, but it's red around the edges. <clears throat> it now has a cut line all the way around those, um, all the way around that edge. And we are going to, the next step is to put some vinyl into the cutter and actually cut it. And uh, I'm going to switch to uh, uh, external camera so that you can see that process. All right, here we have, uh, we're ready to go here. I've got my image, which I traced out in Silhouette Studio, and I've connected a Silhouette Cameo up to the computer so put a cheapy piece of uh, vinyl in there because I'm not too worried about uh, the specific anything we're just using it as a paint mask and we're gonna click send here and send it to the cutter okay here we go So now 
it's cutting out that shape that we traced out before. Cutting it onto a piece of vinyl. Every one of those little jaggedy lightning bolt edges, all that stuff. That's why I couldn't do this with regular tape. to see but what we have is a cut image Let's pull it apart here and see if we cut through the vinyl without cutting if we cut successfully all the way through the vinyl which is what we're primarily interested in Come on. Gotta come up with a better way than this to do this. And there we go. And see it cut, but there's our paint mask. All right. I want to take it apart because I don't want to mess up the resolution of it. I may have already done so here. Got to get it back. All right. So we have our image cut out of the paper. Can't see it yet because all it is is a cut. And now what I'm going to do is the next step which is pretty generic. This is all normal stuff if you're a silhouette cameo guy or a, what's the other one, cry cut or something like that. And you are very, very familiar with this process. Um, in this case, because it's curling on me so bad, I'm going to tape it down while I attempt to get the, while I attempt to get the thing removed. Just remember what I what I really want. The, the purpose of this is to make a um, paint mask. So what I really want to do is is have a, a gap in the center here. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to see if we can take this and see if it see if I can make a gap out of it without screwing it up too badly. This is. This is actually the tricky part. It's easy to Got to be careful on this stuff. Don't want to mess around with it. Oops, careful, careful. Hold that lightning bolt down because the lightning bolts have to stay in exactly the right spot. I'm getting there. Got three lightning bolts.
issues. So all these little tiny pieces just came off. And now, I have no way of knowing if they're accurate or not. This is the danger that you run into with these little tiny, long, tiny pieces. Without any bracing. I'm not sure what I would have done to change this up. But that's the best I got. It is just sticky vinyl, so worst case scenario is they can be moved around a little bit when they're on the actual play field. Alright, the next step, now that we've got the hole cut, is to Put the mask on. This is the transfer paper. So the transfer paper is what we use to actually stick it, to help stick it to the uh, to the play field. Could just stick the thing to the play field on its own, but a little extra. You know, those, those pieces, those lightning bolts are just going to flop around in the center if I don't do something, so they need some help. And that's what this stuff is for. Come on. Separate. That's what they do. All right. So now that goes like that. And now we are ready. We can actually put this on the table. Now we can take the backing off. <laughs> Get to do this again. Perfect. Hopefully, 
ready to be put on the table uh, paint mat. All right, we are going to attempt to line this thing up, see how good it looks. Man, that looks good. It looks good up till that point, and then it doesn't look so good. Why not? That one over there has got to be perfect. It's just the part that I don't like. I'm trying to get this thing lined up, and then before you stick it on. Okay, that looks good right there. That looks pretty good. No, no it's not right. That's pretty good. That was way off. Alright, everything looks good. That one looks good. That one looks good. That one's not bad. This one's off. off and just leave the blue. Yeah! Not bad. Alright, as you can see from here, that one is not correct, but all of the others, and the cloud, the edge of the black, everything looks good. And you can't tell, I think you can see, and you see right there's the edge of the paint mask. So this is, this is paint mask, this is paint mask, and this is just empty. Looks perfect. Now the next step is to take this little bit. Let me go get the uh, my razor blade. This guy up. It's perfect. And I should probably do the same thing with this one. It's just a hair off. But enough. As 
long, narrow lightning bolts are really tough to get accurate. Perfect. Not too shabby. It's very, it's perfect right around the edge. It's perfect around this edge. All right, the next step is we'll tape it all up, break out the paintbrush, and paint it.